And good morning to you, Mai, and good morning as well to you, Marissa. Now, I want to show you something right here. What we have is purple and black bunting right over near the entrance of the 5th District here. There are also two crosses bearing the names of both officers and a candle lit in vigil as well at the base of this memorial here. Now, the sudden tragic deaths of both of these officers has not only left their family in mourning, their police family, but those in the communities that they called home too. Officer Conrad Gary lived in the Mount Greenwood neighborhood trees here and in Oak Lawn, where he grew up, are adorned with blue ribbons in honor of the fallen officer. The 31-year-old husband and father was an officer in the 5th District and had been on the force for 18 months. He, had a fellow, he and a fellow officer were killed by a train when pursuing a suspect. Family friend Kristen Turek told us by phone Gary's lifelong dream was to become a Chicago police officer. Conrad, out of all of us, is probably always the most mature. He was always motivated in school and stayed focused on, on his task, and he, he always wanted to be a cop, so that's what he ultimately ended up doing. Black and blue ribbons adorn the trees on the block. Chicago police officer Eduardo Marmolejo called home in Beverly. A steady stream of well wishers arrive at his house in Beverly to pay their respects. Marmolejo had been with the department since 2016. He leaves behind a wife and three daughters, ages 15, 9, and 3. His children play with my children. Um, great individual. A huge loss to this community. Funeral arrangements are pending for both officers. We're live at the 5th District in the Pullman neighborhood. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News.